Keynesian economics. Why is there a financial crisis today? Do people not want goods and services? Are people not willing to work? Are there no products being invented? Keynesians believe that people become skittish on a market and so their demand for cash holding rises. Right? They just want that green stuff somewhere. This then results in people spending less and so firms can't make much money and so they go out of business, uh, which then results in uh, less people having money to buy things, which causes more firms to go out of business, etc. This is why Keynesians think it is important to stimulate aggregate demand, get people buying things so firms can be profitable and pay their workers. If we remove money from the equation and recognize that people still want things and still produce things, there should be little problem. Let's say that people in general start hoarding money, whatever it is, gold, silver, platinum, pine cones, right? People are spending less money but are still work willing to work and still willing to produce things. What ends up happening is that firms see their revenues dropping but the employees still are willing to produce things. They're still willing to work. So to remain competitive, firms have to lower wages. But because firms across the economy are also lowering wages, the firms will also have to lower prices. And this is a simple deduction. This, uh, the, the money supply has contracted, but the willingness of people to produce things has not. So the price of things produced has to fall, as do wages. Firms uh, would have to coordinate this lowering of prices and wages at all stages of, uh, of the supply lines. And if they cannot, then um, they will fail, and, and the uh, market share, and probably most of its infrastructure, will be taken over a firm by a firm that can coordinate. The notion that economic growth depends on consumption is on its face idiotic, though when analyzed more deeply, appears idiotic. Let's say you're going on a camping trip. Would you like to take with you some people who can produce lots of things but don't consume much, or people who consume lots of things but don't produce much? Certainly the latter has greater aggregate demand. Certainly bringing along a fat guy who's going to eat all your food who will increase aggregate demand, or bringing along a skinny um, you know, uh, woodsman who knows how to hunt and get food uh, is, is going to raise supply but not aggregate demand. Perhaps this is why Keynesian economics is considered counterintuitive, because it is counterfactual.